with today's celebration of Saint Jerome, honoring one of the great doctors of the Western Church, we are reminded that Saint Jerome did many wondrous things for the church. He translated the Hebrew and Greek scriptures into Latin and thereby allowed generations and generations to know the scriptures and therefore, in his words, to know Christ. But he also teaches us something, I think, my dear friends in Christ, more personal. St. Jerome was known for many things, and among those many things was his temper. He was quite irascible, easily angered, and highly tempered. But despite the fact that he was irascible and angry, where at times God still worked through that to allow St. Jerome the inspiration to benefit the church through his translations and his commentaries, as well as his saintly example. He also teaches us that by allowing God to work through even an intemperate person, that person is willing to cooperate with the will of God. And the third thing that he teaches us, my friends in Christ, is that no matter what faults we might very well have, to God, if we allow him, it is no obstacle to sainthood. All saints are human beings, and all human beings are imperfect with faults, some more than others, but nevertheless, faults all the same. Faults of character, faults of self Faults of faults. I'm heartened by St. Jerome, and we all should be, frankly, because if a St. Jerome, or I should say if a Jerome, irascible and angry and quick-tempered, can become a saint through the grace of God, then saints in the making, how can you and I not be provided that we fulfill the will of God and do so with great and selfless love. Let us, you and me, allow God to work in those places in our character that are failing, in the places of our character that are not the most virtuous, in those parts of our character that are not yet saintly. And by allowing him to work in us, especially in those most wounded of places of our heart and of our soul. You and I, we make space for grace.